You guys, real quick, before we get into this topic, don't forget to comment down below your Fortnite in-game name because I'm actually adding a bunch of people from the comment section. And now let's continue with the video. Yo, hey, what's up, guys? And welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And today's video, I'm going to show you a brand new package which I prepared here for LoL and PCs to really make sure that you guys have the maximum amount of FPS in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3. And if you guys enjoy this type of content, please don't forget to leave a like. And also don't forget to check out the latest video, guys, which I uploaded. They're all super useful and overall just going to help to improve your performance. And with that said, guys, let's get straight this topic and yeah guys what i want to do now in the first place is click on the first link in the description where you can find my website guys and here on the top it already says fps boost input delay or stretch resolution and we're of course going to click now onto fps boost once you get redirected guys you should see a bunch of useful posts here by the way make sure to check them all out because they're all individual packs which are going to help you out to improve your pc performance but here on the top should be one with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now so therefore click onto it and once you're on it here guys you're just simply going to scroll down until you can find this download button which is going to redirect you to google drive from where you can download the following pack by the way guys if you get like one or two pop-up ads just simply close them and then after like a second or third time you should be able to get it without any issues and then should look exactly like this here fortnite fps boost pack for low and pc and this is like a more up-to-date version guys which we're going to open up right now and first of all of course we have here create a restore point guys because yeah that's just something super important before you do like major tweaks on your pc always make sure that you have like a restore point just in case if there's anything okay. then in the next step guys we're going to click now onto power plan and then we have a super useful power tweak which is going to put our pc to maximum performance so simply double click onto it and add it to your registry guys once you're done with it, we're just going to go over to common tweaks and then we now have disable useless activities and important tweaks. Again, just simply click onto it and apply both of them here to your system guys, super, super quick. Then we also have gaming optimization registry tweaks where we have stuff like disable driver searching, disable file history manager, disable maintenance, disable power throttling, disable windows telemetry, energy estimation, logging, high priority, keyboard data queue size, low latency mode, maintain low latency, max FPS, and most data queue size. All of these ones here are super important and I all have them always in my main FPS boost packs because they're super useful to just simply improve your performance on your Windows PC. It doesn't matter by the way, if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11, then we're gonna go as well here onto clean junk files guys, which is just simply going to redirect us here to our cleanup, you know, on our disk. I'll basically have a fresh version of Windows here on my PC, so there's not really too much. Besides maybe the recycling bin, but yeah, there should be a lot more for you guys. And we're just simply gonna select everything here, click onto OK, and clean up as much as we can on our PC here. And once you're done with that as well, we also have your Fortnite config files guys, where we have some for low-end PC, medium PC, very low-end very very low end like i'm literally talking integrated graphics or high end guys and all of these here have like a stretch resolution applied that means that if we open it up we can actually see here now that on very very low end we have something like 600 times 400 which is still playable but of course it's not gonna look really the best but yeah just simply like copy those game user settings out onto your desktop so you have them here go into the top search bar type in presenter temp presenter press then um local here press f for your keyboard for fortnite game saved config windows client and there you can replace them you know just simply delete these here and replace them with the ones for like the specific pc better side yeah the preset and then we're already done with that as well and now let's actually hop into fortnite and see how good our performance actually is
And yeah, guys, this is it so far for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.